Hey there, champs. Today, we're tackling a question that's on everyone's mind. Why the heck do we sometimes mess up and hurt the people we love? It's like doing a face plan in the middle of a dance floor, awkward and painful. But don't worry, I've got your back and we're going to break this down like your favorite comfort food recipe. So, first things first, fear of getting too close emotionally. It's like putting up an invisible force field around your feelings. You're terrified of letting people in because, let's be real, emotions can be messier than a food fight. But guess what? Emotional intimacy is not the enemy. It's the secret sauce to a kick-ass relationship. Solution? Open up, people. Share your feelings, thoughts, dreams, heck, even your weird childhood stories. Break down that emotional brick wall like a wrecking ball at a demolition site. Your loved ones aren't mind readers. They need the 411 to be your emotional partners in crime. And here's a quick intermission. If you're enjoying the wisdom we're dropping today, why not hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up? I promise it won't hurt as much as stepping on a Lego. Now, on to the codependency tango. You're afraid of getting too attached, like a human barnacle clinging for dear life. But here's the deal. Healthy relationships aren't about suffocating each other. They're about two independent people doing a kick-ass duet. So cut the clingy act, set some boundaries, and let your partner breathe. It's like relationship yoga. Find that balance and strike a pose. But let's get real. If you're stuck in a loop of hurting and being hurt, it's time for some professional help. Cue the therapists, the relationship MVPs. They're like the coaches of your emotional Olympics, guiding you to gold medal worthy connections. No shame in seeking help. It's the smart move, like hiring a personal trainer for your heart. And hey, communication, the unsung hero of every relationship. You're not a mind reader and neither is your partner. So cut the cryptic messages and speak up. It's not a Shakespearean play, it's a conversation. And here's a pro tip, humor <laughs> is your secret weapon. A well-timed joke can diffuse tension faster than a water balloon fight in July. All right, in the grand finale, remember this, growth takes time. You're not going to become a relationship ninja overnight. Learn from your mistakes, apologize when needed, and strive to be a better dance partner in this crazy tango of life. So, my awesome friends, embrace the quirks, talk it out, set boundaries, and know when to call in the pros. Life's too short for unnecessary drama. Now go out there, rock that relationship dance floor, and remember, you're not alone in this crazy, wonderful journey. And hey, if you enjoyed this video and want more awesome insights on life and relationships, drop a comment below with your thoughts on our next topic. After all, this channel is for you, and we want to hear what you're curious about. Now go on, superstar. The world is your dance floor. Time to groove to the rhythm of love and laughter.